This is uh, Faust, uh, the man who had all his trouble with Mephistopheles, so you've got a mystical element going here, and I rather wanted to show how Rembrandt loved to play with dramatic light effects, and there are a number of etchings of this period which have these great bursts of light. This is a, a marvellous print from the 1650s uh, of great, of wonderful richness of complexity, and this use of light uh, to create a much more sophisticated light. It's not just the old Baroque one of light and dark contrast. Here you've got great bursts of light going in all directions out from this central appearance to, to Faust in his studio and this drama of the scene, this particular moment of dramatic intervention, divine or mystical or sinister. And I think in this it's taking on a little bit from probably what he knew Durer liked, um, did a lot of woodcuts of works of scholars in their studies, St. Jerome, saints and people, and I think there's a strong influence of that here, but taking it into a, a, a more extreme and dramatic form altogether. And a great range of mark making in this as well. Things cast into the shadow by this very dramatic light, so again, things hidden behind at the back of the studio are all murkily outlined, the light simply hitting his face like that on the table, this great moment of huge mystical, magical, Mephistophelian drama going on and creating this great sunburst of light in the middle of it all, remarkable print, and just showing Rembrandt's ability to take on very complicated themes and convey the sense of, of magic and wonder uh, very, very, very powerfully indeed.